Hey guys, Mike with Kitten Greasy Garage. So, yes, I've known you, I know you've seen the 429 before, but uh, I was actually putting spark plug wire ends on, uh, cutting them to length and all that, finishing up the routing. Uh, got another part today. So, this is the alternator I picked up. Uh, got it on eBay from an American company that slips my mind at the moment. But I will put the uh, information down below in the com or in the description. So this alternator is a 200 amp alternator, um, and it's also 150 amp just at idle. And the particular reason I I got this one was because the gentleman that owns the Fairlane probably is going to put a a pretty high tech stereo system in it. Going to need a lot of power. Um, you know, for the price of a regular one wire GM alternator was like for a Chrome one was 120 bucks and they're like 70 amp or hundred amp, something like that. And this one being 150 at idle and 200 or I think even two, maybe 220, uh, at, you know, RPM running RPM. Uh, this thing was $179 and it's lifetime guaranteed and. Uh, they were a gr nice company to deal with. They kept in contact through the shipping process. Uh, kept just kept sending me emails about if I have any problems with it to contact them and they'll make it right. And uh, I got this one because it's got the black oxide coating, obviously to go with the rest of the black on it. So yeah, I was able to get the right alternator on here. Get the uh, pulleys and brackets buttoned up. Measured the belts today. I have to find an 8 rib 40 incher and an 8 rib 41 incher. So, I'll be doing a little eBay shopping tonight. Um, yeah. So, happy to see that on there. That part's complete. Um, so, let's see. Got the right uh, throttle body or carb studs, the right length ones. Got that buttoned up. Oh, what else? Oh, I know there's something else I did. Oh, uh, got the balancer installed. Seeing a nice white line on there. Uh, the timing tab right now, the paint is drying. Got our crank bolt installed. I Loctite at all the Allen screws on all the all the pulleys, so there won't be any issues there. Um, you know, not a not a huge movement forward, but progress is progress. And you know, hey, this thing's looking sharp, so I can't help but show you guys again. So yeah. Anyway, guys. Uh, Still looking for a uh, 59 Ford Fairlane bumper, rear bumper specifically. Something that's not bent to shit. Um, even if it needs chromed at this point, we don't care. Just something that's not a rust bucket. Uh, I don't need the brackets. Have the have all the brackets already. I don't, I don't know what they were. They took the bumper off, left the brackets. Bumper vanished. So... Yeah, so I can locate a bumper. I've called all the, the rather well-known Ford restoration places, and they all just kind of laugh at me. And uh, apparently a 59 Ranchero bumper, rear bumper, is the same. I need to dig into that deeper. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping this next week to have the car come in get started on it um tomorrow will be i'll do a video on it but i'm gonna do some work on the transmission the good old c6 so and uh, once i start building the cars guys like when i get into wiring and stuff like that i'll get a lot more in depth you know other than these these summary videos but i didn't think it'd be very exciting me figuring out how many spacers the alternator required and uh had to 
drill out this hole because this is a bigger diameter bolt. You know, not real exciting stuff. So, but there will be lots and lots on the car. So, yeah, excuse me. Long day. Anyway. All right, guys. Well, thank you again for supporting the channel. Um, if you would, on your way out the door, hit that smash. Hit and smash those buttons, you know, that notifications bell, the like button, the subscription button if you're not already subscribed. Well, if you don't like the video, hit dislike. At this point, any buttons are good to hit. So, but, you know, all that stuff's free to do. And it doesn't, it, it doesn't cost you anything. And it really helps me out as uh, a content creator. And it, in fact, when you do it on all videos, it helps all content creators. It gives gives us a, a guideline as far as what you guys like to see and, you know, that kind of thing. So, anyway, guys, uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.